Joseph Yusuf from John Hutchwiller channel. Uh, I'm only making this video because I think it's very important that I say this to new converts, and this is to uh, new converts, people investing in orthodoxy, catechumens. As I've said before, Monastery Icons is a transcendental meditation Hindu sect cult that uh, embrace the trappings of Oriental Orthodoxy. Uh, please do not support them. They're Orthodox in no way, shape, or form, even though certain uh, Syriac and Ethiopian priests celebrated uh, the mysteries with them. Another thing is, I heard it talked about on here, and I, I really, it's kind of funny, it, it brought me back to seven years ago, um, the Philokalia, uh, probably pronouncing that wrong, uh, it's not something new converts should really get into, um, there's a lot of allegory, parable, you'll read things like, oh, and since he did this, or drank that, he was damned forever, things like that, you know, um, these are tools for monastics uh, and again a lot of what applies to monastics uh, can be transferred in certain ways over to the laity but a lot of times it just doesn't work if you just start applying monastic rules to the laity it, it's not that's not good there are monastics there are lay people there are priests these shouldn't be confused even though our monastics are not like the Roman Catholics they're more active in the world Go from that. There's a third point I want to touch on, and that's Saint Anthony's Monastery. Now, I've heard a lot of people bashing Saint Anthony's, and I've heard a lot of uh, good things, bad things. I many people from my old parish uh, <coughs> went to Saint Anthony's, visited there. Uh, very blessed time, very uh, fruitful, but. Uh, with St. Anthony's, here's a funny story. I went to Greek Fest uh, and nuns selling icons. And so we're from St. Anthony's. I go, oh, you're Ephraimites? Ephraimites. I didn't, I didn't realize it's a pejorative. They don't like that because um, it's run by Elder Ephraim. And uh, I know people who have been to Mount Athos and been to. St. Anthony's monasteries, and there's tons of them now, based out of uh, Arizona or New Mexico. And the uh, there will be certain monks that tell people, "Oh, you weren't baptized in the correct formula, or you weren't, you're not really baptized, you're not really part of the church, you need to be rebaptized." Uh, this is Donatism, pure and simple, or Donatism, however you pronounce it. I've never seen it written. Um, even Cyprian fought against this this kind of stuff. Uh, Saint Stephen the Greek, the Pope of Rome, argued tremendously against this. Uh, once you are accepted into the church, I was not allowed to be rebaptized. If you go and you were baptized in the and you go to the bishop and says, uh, "Can you please baptize? I want to be rebaptized." If he says no, it's no. Now keep in mind there are certain parts of Eastern Europe where Roman Catholics. I mean, people who are accepted through baptism, chrismation, things like this. Catholics only need to say the creed without the filioque in it and make a statement of faith, and they're in, they can take the Eucharist. The church has the power to bind and loose things. You don't look in the Bible or look to ancient sources and say, oh, they did it this way, so we have to know. The church is a living body, and she knows what's best. Uh, maybe not some of the bishops all the time, but when you were received into the church, when you take the Eucharist, all all doubt should end right there. You are part of the church. Now, <clears throat> even as, as a catechumen, you're under the protective wings of the church. Now, if there may be doubts or anything like this, this should be between you and God or you and your spiritual father and God. It's nobody else's business. If you were baptized in the church, it took me three years. They didn't like me. I was from Islam. I actually had to say a part where I renounced Islam. They have this ancient form, Mohammedans. And all. Uh, somebody even is received it anyway. And, and there was some things I was very upset with when I first came into the church. It took such, so long to get in there. And then people who 
they they accept them just because they were nice and clean cut, and then two weeks later they commit apostasy. Uh, that's my own thing that I had to get over. But once somebody takes the Eucharist, that's your brother, sister, in Christ. So, uh, again, whatever whatever mishaps or, or not things that are inappropriate, that's between them and God, or them and their spiritual father. I'm making this video not to cause controversy in any way, just to mention some protective notes or warnings to the catechumens, the newly converted. Peace to you. Uh, again, I may not be making videos. I have a lot going on. Uh, please pray for me and my family.